Hey guys, so I wanted to do a quick video on using Joy to Key with Pinball Emporium. Um, there's been some people that are having trouble with it, and I think they're just uh, overcomplicating everything. So, uh, Joy to Key is actually very easy to use, and we'll go over it right now. So, one thing I'm going to include in this video is a Create Shortcuts bat um, that you can download now and use with Pinball Emporium. This will create shortcuts on your desktop and in your start menu um, and anywhere else. So if we go in here, and this will just make it, you know, accessing everything a little easier. And it will fix the icon on your Pinball Emporium. So if we do create shortcut, we can see that added to the desktop right there. And then it's going to ask if you want to do in the startup. I already have in the startup, so I'm not going to do anything. So I'm just going to do three, and we're done. Anyway, now we're going to jump into Joy to Key. So if you did not just do that, so now Joy to Key is right there. But if you do not have that uh, program, we can go in here to get Joy to Key. Now, what people mostly get confused about is when you double click Joy to Key, they see it launch down here, and then nothing happens. Then they sit and sit. And then they try to launch it again. And it blinks like that, blinks like that. And then it goes away. So, yeah, see, it's like I'm trying to click on it, nothing works. What's happening is that's just launching Joy to Key in the background. It's appearing down here. Now, you probably don't have it. I've already moved it here. You probably have this carrot menu. And in there, you can show uh, hidden icons. That's where your Joy to Key probably is. At that time, you can actually take Joy to Key. I'm using OBS in this example, but you can take Joy to Key, drag it here, and it won't disappear anymore. But now, yeah, double clicking is not going to do anything except launching it in the background. Now we click on the taskbar, right click on it. I think you can double click too. But now we can say open main window. Now we have our Joy to Key. This stumps way too many people but um when you're not ex when you're <laughs> when your brain expects you a program to open when you double click and it doesn't you know we don't tend to uh think of what else could happen we just assume that it's broken but it's not all that does is launch in the background that's why we run that that's why double clicking that exe or adding that exe to the start file folder lets us launch it when pin uh, when your computer beats uh boots up all right, so this is our current setup. We have a uh, profile for the at games pinball, for cabinet buttons, and for X input. We're gonna go from scratch here just so you guys can see exactly what's going on. So I'm gonna jump into my README file. And I'm gonna scroll down to the button layout. How many people knew this was here? How many people read the README file? So we're gonna go from scratch here. And I'm gonna do this on, I have an Xbox controller in front of me, and I'm gonna do it on that. So I'm gonna create a new one. Now you can just edit these profiles, but I'm just gonna go from scratch. So, you know, YouTube demo profile. All right. So I have that. I wanna make sure my, uh, controllers hooked up so as I press buttons on here you can see different things pop up you can go in the options and so it's detected two, two joysticks uh, yeah so it's seen it as one and that's because my um, we're using my cabinet so my cabinet buttons are still there anyway so I have all these buttons lighting up doing all that kind of stuff and what we're gonna do is we want to kind of match what goes to where so all right we're going to start out with the left shift and right shift which is the um left flipper and like right for flipper <clears throat> so i want these to be the the bumpers some people want them to be the triggers other you know just depends what you want to do so i can see when i hit the left one five lights up so i'm going to go into five All right, 
And so we have that lit up. Now, we want to set that to be left shift. Now, you would think you could just press shift, but that uh, doesn't always work. Sometimes that would pop up with uh, just the word shift. So there we go. So left shift is not left shift, it's shift. <clears throat> so we need to right click in here and choose the left shift. And so, you know, I'm going to go in here and say, you know, left flipper. Okay. All right, the first one's done. Next is our right flipper. So I'm going to click my right flipper, which happens to be six. All right, and I know in here that's right shift. So we're going to right click, we're going to hit right shift. All right, flipper. <clears throat> All right, now we have our left controls or right, right controls, which is our nudges. Now I'm doing this on an Xbox controller, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So I'm gonna actually make this be my left and right uh, joypad. So if I look, that's stick two. Same thing, right click in here. This is left control. So left nudge. And this is right nudge. Okay. So that's just gonna go down the list. Um, that should be sort of pretty self-explanatory now. If you want to um, just change the buttons, so say, you know, if I'm clicking this, I'm like, okay, I want that to be my control. This gets a little, you can screw this up really quickly. I should say that. But if I right click on this, I can say copy this button assignment. And since we haven't assigned this yet, I'm just gonna paste it down here. Just so I have it saved somewhere. And now I can go in and edit this button assignment. So that's another way to do this. Now, I have limited buttons on my cabinet, so I want to be able to have a single button do multiple things. And so we have that usually with the exit and the Alt-4, or the escape and the Alt-4. So FX tables need to, you need to be able to exit by doing Alt-F4, where Future Pinball and VFX uh, Pinball all can use escape. So say I wanted to set this button as my exit button. Well, we want to set up a multiple keyboard command. Our input one, which is going to be our press. We're going to right click. Well, you know what? I'm just going to hit escape. Make it easy. All right. Escape is my input one. Now we're going to go down here to switch depending on how long you hold the button. So if the button is hold for 500 milliseconds, which is a half a second, we're gonna, instead of doing input one, we're gonna do input two, which we want this to be alt, where is my, so, and again, you need to set, you can't set alt, you need to set left alt. I don't know why, it doesn't work for some reason if you just set alt. Alt, and then, you know, I'm just gonna click it again, F4. So left alt, F4, if we hold. So if we press it, it, it does the escape button, if we hold it, it does left alt F4. So these are combination buttons. So if you wanted, you could do four, you know, up to four buttons in a combination, but we're just doing a two button. And so again, if the button is hold for 500 milliseconds or half a second, do alt F4, left alt alt F4. If it's just pressed, do escape. That's all. All right, so you can go through here and rearrange it use the um, readme file to see what's going on. Uh, this is for version uh, release 9 or version 3.6 and 3.61. These will slightly change a little bit in um, version uh, release 10, but not, you know, it, it's just changing around how the favorite buttons work, which so most people honestly probably don't care. But, you know, for the most part, this is how you use Joy to Key. The big takeaway here is double clicking on Joy to Key is not going to open it. You need all Joy to Key, double click on Joy to Key does is put it in the taskbar and run it in the background. This is the reason why we're able to do it in the start menu. 
Um, and that's it. That's I mean, that's ninety percent of people's issues when they run into when they uh, message me about Joda Key is that they're like, it doesn't launch, it doesn't launch. I'm like, it's there. Just hit that. Look for that little carrot menu. Look for the up arrow menu. It's just hiding back there. So that's going to help most people. And like I said, sometimes it just takes. If you have a cabinet, like I'm sitting here in front of my computer with the, you know, pressing my buttons on the uh, Xbox controller, but literally get a piece of paper, get a piece of paper and say, you know, you know, okay, button five should be, you know, the left flipper, button six should be the right flipper. Yeah, um, what else do we have? Uh, you know, oh, up arrow, up should be the, the uh, nudge forward, stick left is uh, nudge left and that kind of stuff just sit there with a piece of paper you know write down you know write down these things and you'll be able to you'll just be able to run through it really quick um, and here's all the you know keyboard commands all the button these button uh, letters will not change so as long as you have something set up for these buttons but anyway this video has already gone down gone a little too long so I'm going to let you guys know. If you have any more questions, feel free to message me in the Discord or leave it below. Thanks a lot.